Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are strapped up with the GoPro strap and the dinosaur fanny pack, which can only mean one thing, which means today we are going to the Goodwill bins. Now, normally I go through regular Goodwills and all the videos you guys have seen have been at regular Goodwills, but the Goodwill bins lately have been packed with tons of good stuff. I blame it due to the fact that the regular Goodwills have been putting tons of items that are way above the value of what somebody would typically pay at a thrift store on their shelves, not lowering the prices until half price day, and then they end up missing their mark and uh, going to the Goodwill bins. I also think they're seeing an uh, influx of stuff too. It is full yard sale season right now, so everybody's just trying to purge stuff out of their house, getting ready for new fall decor. I think Goodwill has just been taking in too much stuff in my area that they can't handle. Um, last time I went to the bins, I wish I was recording because I did find an Xbox 360. So I found this guy right here, not in the best shape and didn't have any cords with it that I could find in the area. I mean, it only cost me $3.50 because electronics are $3.50 at my bins. I also found a CPAP machine. Unfortunately, that CPAP machine had too many hours for the company Second Wind CPAP to buy it because they buy between zero and 4,000 hours. The cord alone, the charging cord, if you guys don't know, the charging cord goes for about 20 to $25. So enough talking about my previous hauls that I didn't take the time to record. Let's go ahead and get over to the bins and see what we can make today. Godspeed. Move! Oh. So the reason I haven't posted in about a month, actually on second thought, it has been a little over two months since the last time I put out content. So is I actually wanted to get you guys a video talking about what it's like to be a below standard seller. About 14 months ago, I got myself into the hole of being a below standard seller when I was still selling part-time before I went full-time. Unfortunately, this did cause my account to be below standard. My uh, fees were higher. My listings just weren't pumped out as much. So I had gone over to Amazon to primarily focus on making the most money that I possibly could. Now, unfortunately, um, it did take me those 14 months to get out of it, which eBay doesn't really outline clearly, in my opinion, in their policy documents, but I've been doing research for that video and I also got sick for about two weeks with, um, you know. We do not speak his name. So that kind of put a damper on things um, while I was recovering. So I do appreciate y'all's patience. I do appreciate that you guys do still enjoy watching the videos and going with me to thrift. So I wanted to get this video out for you. In the meantime, I am almost done with the below standard video. So that way I can kind of talk you guys through that, make sure that everybody understands the policies and stuff. But until we get to that point, um, I am going to get this video out and then hopefully we'll be able to get that video out in the next couple weeks. Also, on a side note, I have been doing whatnot auctions lately. I uh, did my first one last week. So if you guys are interested in that, please follow the whatnot link in the description below. Also, if you sign up with my referral link, you end up getting some free money um, to spend towards your first purchase, I believe. So don't quote me on that, but I will make sure to put all the details in the description below. All right, first find of the day is this peanuts pants they got this cool peanuts embroidery on the top i don't see any stains or tears in them so we're gonna go ahead and grab yes 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 come to papa so another find you guys need to watch out for is like when you find boots like this the seals are coming off otherwise these would have been a great pair of boots but as you can see they're falling apart a few minutes later Here's another example. This is old school Pittsburgh Steelers cap. It's in a little bit rough condition, but people do still buy stuff like this. So good wash and uh, good uh, air dry should be making it look pretty good. Other than that, I think there's a couple of uh, a couple stains I can probably get out with a Tide pen. So we'll definitely grab that. Just plain Nike hat. These do pretty well, but there is a lot of staining on this. and it is white, so I'm gonna leave it just because it's so stained. 
All right, guys, so we pulled, just pulled out this Super Mario hat. Very, very cool. I think it is officially yep, Super Mario 2022. So it is uh, officially licensed Super Mario hat. And then we pulled out this Disney Scenic. This game sells for really good money. Always keep an eye out for it. I double checked, made sure all the pieces were in here. Everything looks good and, and includes the disc as well. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that too. All right guys, so <laughs> the first thing I picked up was this Guild Wars 2 for PC. It was in here, but it was only the single disc. And then I saw this Monster Jam uh, for PlayStation 2. It is in good condition. I'm gonna grab it because it's only a buck 50, but that was a great find. Another game here called Time Shatters, Time Time Spheres, Time Spitters. T -t -t Today, Junior. Future Perfect uh, for the Xbox. Looks to be in good shape. I don't I don't know anything about this game. I'm just gonna put it in the cart because I don't have time to look it up right now. But you guys will see it on the screen how much this game is worth. So I found a super quiet corner to kind of go over everything with you. The bins were absolutely crazy. So I found a bunch of cool stuff though. So like the first thing I found in the clothing department was this um young I, I don't know if it's a girl's or if it's supposed to be like a kid's but it's a little pokemon sweater it's free of stains surprisingly i usually find stuff like this that has stains all over it from the kids but it's in really really good shape so I figured i'd grab that that'd probably do okay in a whatnot auction and then i grab this maryland terrapins zip up um, and it is becoming fall and as we get into that season you'll see this type of stuff move better I normally don't go for college teams unless they're big college teams with a lot of followers like Florida State or like Maryland or LSU um, but teams like that I definitely go for it in the college sector of course I already went over the Super Mario hat that I got and I grabbed this I grabbed this Koloa Surf Company it's a zip-up jacket and it's got an embroidery on the front too. I thought it looked really, really good and uh, and like compared to like a lot of the stuff here. And I figured that that type of sports gear was good. I grabbed a couple of these seasons of DVDs here. Hey Arnold season one, Rocco's Modern Life season one. Um, I figured those I can try and bundle together. Um, usually like if those type of sets, people want to watch those shows together. Um, I grabbed this Xbox game that you guys saw. I grabbed this Sealed Suits Season 2. And then I also grabbed this Sealed Precious movie. Um, you saw the other thing fall down here, which is this Black Widow um, Infinity figure. I don't know if it's worth much, but usually I just grab these and then I end up bundling them later. Um, but we got this a Yahtzee, Spongebob Yahtzee Jr. I don't know if this is worth it either. I'll have to double check. I did make sure all the parts were in it, so that was good. And then I got this shirt. It's pretty cool. It's got like a Grim Reaper on it. Drinking a smoothie. I'm drinking a smoothie and on the back it says Chill Vibes. It was stain free. That's why I grabbed it. And I thought it was pretty cool. The Grim Reaper type stuff does really well um, on whatnot and stuff like that. So. Next, I grabbed this uh, Harry Potter licensed uh, Universal Orlando shirt. It's a uh, Harry Potter uh, Gryffindor. The, the uh, embroidering here is kind of messed up on it. So now that I'm looking at it up close, I think I'm gonna put this back, but that would have been a great find because it does have that on the front. And then on the back, it has Potter. So that was pretty cool. Um, I'm sure somebody would still buy it, but I personally just try not to get clothes that are too ripped or stained. Here's another shirt I wasn't sure about. It's got like the Rugrats all over it. It's pretty cool. It's a 2021 Viacom, so it's not vintage, but it is a very cool shirt. I think I might still grab it because uh, I think I'm gonna do like theme days for my whatnot auctions. So Nickelodeon will probably be one of those themes. So I'll probably grab that for one of those days. I got the, this Steelers snapback. I think I talked about this a little bit before, but now that it's a little bit quieter, I'll go over it again. Basically, it's just a Steelers snapback. Um, it, it's in okay condition. It definitely needs some love, but um, nothing a uh, good wash and a couple stain remover pens can't fix. I grabbed this Pilsner trucker hat. The reason I grabbed it is because this auto brand does sell. They're a pretty common brand of trucker hat. And then I grabbed this Jordan hat. Um, Jordan hats don't go as good as shoes, but they still sell, so. I grabbed this giant Hershey's Kiss. That was a good find. Disney seen it and went over a little bit earlier. I grabbed a pair of Columbia boots. They're a little bit rough on the toes, but other than that, they're good and their treads are awesome. I think I might just put these back just because they're really, really heavy and I don't feel like paying up for them. So we'll put those right there. Um, we got a couple of tennis rackets. I usually grab these just to throw up played against sports, see what they'll give me for them. Just kind of 
give me an idea of what's worth and what's not but these are all really really light so these should probably only be a couple bucks and i can probably get like 10 bucks for them at played again sports again i went over these already but i grabbed these peanuts pans i thought they were really cool they were stain free so i grabbed them and then monster jam 2 for playstation 2 i thought that was a pretty cool find even though it's probably not worth a ton um it is complete so that's always a bonus but we'll definitely grab that and uh that was a good find to find for you know it's gonna be like a dollar fifty or whatever their media is here and of course we grabbed this jack skellington skull beanie here like i said it is at that time of year again disney resort paris so this is a paris hat so probably a little bit more desirable considering people a lot of not a lot of people can go to disney resort in paris so it was a great find um this is just an easton bat bag i just grabbed this um i always grab bat bags as long as they're not ripped and their zippers work um they'll net me about 450 at played against sports i just throw them to them i don't feel like waiting and sitting on them to get rid of them so i just do that and i run that up there i found this lego bag i thought it was pretty cool i think it it's like a makeup bag or like a pencil bag or something so i just grabbed it because it has a lego thing on it but it's gonna weigh like nothing so it's not gonna cost as much and then i also grabbed these brooks running shoes they're pretty stained so i think i'm gonna put them back and then the last thing i grabbed was this apc it's a backup power supply i'm gonna look it up and i'll put it on screen um so that way you guys can see what it's worth i may end up putting it back but um i thought that was a really cool find so that's pretty much everything but i do have one more thing i want to go over with you but we'll go over that outside and i'll explain why later all right guys so here is the entire haul amongst um some other stuff i had bought in previous videos so you can ignore that but i wanted to do the grand reveal of the best item i think i got today i ended up getting this hand painted super mario bros canvas i thought it was super duper cool and uh, it was only two dollars and i figured it would look really awesome in the house amongst some of my other gaming posters and stuff like that so very very cool find for two dollars but everything today only cost us about 22 bucks so when we get home i'll go over a little bit more of the numbers and stuff and kind of talk about what we uh what we kept and what we'll probably make some money off all right guys so i have awesome news so what i did was i went ahead and i took all the sports stuff we grabbed and went into that store right there called played again sports basically they're like a used sporting goods store if you've never been in there basically they sell new and used goods but they also buy your old stuff too so what i do is every time i get like things like tennis rackets or i get things like uh baseball bat bags like the stuff you saw earlier me pick up i actually took the three rackets in the bag in there and i actually got 16 dollars cash so while i could have probably sat on that stuff for a little bit longer and got a lot more for it I would have had to sit on it for a while and this helps me get my cash flow and keep my cash flow going so i spent a total of 23 dollars today if you take out the actual uh, painting i got for myself i spent 21 dollars on inventory i got 16 back so my out of pocket today is only five dollars so we'll go ahead and go home and then we'll talk a little bit more about the stuff we did pick up and what our like potential profits gonna look like many many minutes later so i'm gonna try something a little different today i'm actually gonna put a powerpoint slideshow together and just kind of talk over it that way you guys can actually physically see the numbers without having to actually look at me while i'm doing it just let me know what you guys think down below in the comments if you like this style better or if you like it more where it's just me talking and i have the numbers kind of popping up on the side of me all right guys so we're gonna go over the overall bins haul profit now this is of course potential profit so it should be taken with a grain of salt but i want you guys to see a number of the breakdowns of the potential profit that you can make from doing this type of thing so if i go ahead and go and we go with our cash spent so if we go ahead and start with our cash spent we spent about 22 dollars on everything if we take out the money that we spent at play it against sports we were looking at a positive gain back of 16 dollars so in total at, at the end of the day we are out six dollars that we need to make back so hopefully we're able to make that i'm going to talk about a couple of things and show you guys a couple of items that did sell also i want to add that i'm going to go in order of the items at the little breakdown that i showed you guys when i showed you everything that i picked up in store 
So I'm gonna go in the order of that, minus all of the stuff we sold at Play It Again Sports. So the first thing was the Pokemon Kid sweater. I looked it up online. I couldn't really find any comps on eBay, so it's just gonna be something that I take to the flea market with me. So we're talking about uh, $5 in profit. The second item that I picked up was that Maryland Terrapins fleece quarter zip. Now I couldn't find any comps, even for the brand that it was. It looks like those brands are pretty pricey going in the $50, $60 range. So conservatively, I don't think I'm gonna have any problem getting $20 plus shipping on this. I also wanna add, now that I did mention shipping, that all these items are going to be without shipping um, is what I'm going to consider the profit. I might make a dollar or two on some of the shipping, but honestly, I probably will end up at a wash anyways. I always charge for shipping, so if I don't charge for shipping, I will notate that here. Of course, there was that Super Mario hat as well that I went over a couple times in the video, actually. I don't think I'm going to have any problem getting $5 for it. I might actually try and get 10 or 15 for it. It's in fantastic shape. There's no tears or pulls on it, so definitely is going to be a good time to post that especially with us going into the winter season in the next couple months the next thing i wanted to point out is this koloa surf company hoodie we did talk about in the video it's that blue hoodie with um, the Koloa Surf Company, which of course is a Hawaii brand. I thought it might go for a little bit more because stuff from Hawaii does usually pull a certain audience, but I couldn't really find any good comps on it. So I just threw $5 on it and it's going to be going to the flea market with me. Now, Monster Jam for PS2 wasn't exactly a great um, item to go up. It's probably only like a $10 game at $1.50 after shipping um, and the fact that it's on a 15% sale right now. I'm probably only going to make about two dollars in profit but again it's a video game video games do sell pretty well so i was glad to find that so the next thing that did sell was a time splitters game now it did sell for 15.99 free shipping and sold almost immediately after i posted it probably a day at the most um, that was a great find and then after fees we made nine dollars 25 cents after shipping which i just call four bucks we made about five dollars profit on that so we are actually almost back to where we started at zero just with the time splitters having sold now of course the next thing i want to talk about is the dvds i did bundle all those together because i did realize after picking them up that those dvds weren't particularly worth much now the good news is that i found out later is that they charged me a dollar fifty for all of the games and the DVDs all in one stack. I didn't think they were supposed to do that, but I was happy enough that they did do that. So we'll just give it a fat goose egg and call it a wash on the DVDs. Now, the next thing I want to go over is the Disney Infinity figure. Now, those things are virtually weightless, so probably only cost me about a nickel. Again, they're only worth about a dollar to four dollars somewhere in there. But typically what I do is I wait until I get a bunch of them. I just pick them up for a nickel or, or a few piece. Um, I also come across the Disney Infinity game all the time and the pads to go ahead and launch them into the game. Uh, basically, you just put the figures on top of the pads and it kind of will basically transport them into the game. I always pick those up, but I never actually end up selling them until I get them in a bundle. So we'll just say $0 on that too, because I don't want to miss acknowledging anything. The next thing was that chill vibe shirt that I talked about briefly now I was gonna end up keeping that for myself but it actually is a size too small so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and sell it I just put two dollars on it because I couldn't find any reasonable comps on it now the next thing was that Gryffindor shirt again another two dollar find nothing crazy there now the next one was the Rugrats shirt I did put that one a little bit higher because people do typically pay up for that type of stuff it's great subject material and will sell um, relatively fast. I think I have it in my store for like 10 or $15. Um, but like I said, it, after fees and stuff, you're probably looking at a $5 profit after it's all said and done with shipping. Now the vintage Steelers hat is a hit or miss. It's really going to depend on if there is a collector that wants it or not. Now these hats can go anywhere from $20 all the way up to like 75 to a hundred dollars. I'm going to go ahead and conservatively say I can get $25 after fees for it. I just think somebody would be willing to pay a little Little over 30 to 35 dollars plus shipping for a vintage Steelers hat that's in good condition now I am going to have a little bit of cleaning to do and make it look good but I really do think I can get the 25 dollars out of it as for the Pilsner trucker hat again it's a great subject material trucker hats always sell really well and having something like Pilsner on it in the auto brand would be really good I think I can make ten dollars after fees it's really good because most of the hats that I buy anyways are only 17 to 25 cents so the ROI on them is great and they sell pretty fast too. 
Jordan kids winter hats, people like Jordan stuff, it usually goes for a while. I'm gonna put $5 on it because I conservatively think that's what I will get after fees and shipping and all that stuff, but still a good pickup. Now, the Disney Cena is always a good bread and butter item, especially because at my Goodwill bins, they specifically only charge a dollar for board games. So the fact that I can sell this for $20 with free shipping is great. Now, if you do take off the shipping and the fees, I'll probably only make about $5 on it, but they are usually very, very quick sellers as long as you're on the low end of the pricing. I've sold these games for upwards of $30 to $40 around Christmas time, but in off seasons, they go for about 20 to 25. I know that $5 doesn't seem like a lot of money when it's all said and done, but it does add up. The peanut sweatpants were another thing that I found, but honestly could not find real comps on. I just know that the peanuts and um, you know Woodstock and Snoopy are generally just really good subject material. I picked them up blindly, but they're gonna go ahead and go to the flea market with me. I'm gonna charge $3 for them. I'll probably take two, somebody asked me, but but the good news about this is you're paying like less than a dollar for each pair of clothing. So you're actually able to triple your money on it. So like I said, it's little bits of money, but it's little bits of money all in a row. Up next is the Jack Skellington hat that I found that's from Disney Paris. Now, I couldn't find any super duper comps on it, but I'm thinking I can probably make me like $10 profit on it just because I'll probably list it for 15 plus shipping. So now Jack Skellington is awesome subject material, especially around this time, Halloween, even Christmas, just because the Nightmare Before Christmas is like considered a Halloween and Christmas movies. Lego bag, again, anything Lego is usually really good subject material. I wanna tell myself that that's gonna be a $5 profit. I haven't really looked that up yet, but on what I know about Lego and the Lego stuff that I have sold, I do believe it is going to be a really, really good. So the breadwinner of the day is this APC battery backup. I did get it tested, make sure it plugs in, it works. It does have the batteries inside, which is a very important distinction when you're listing this type of thing. Battery backups obviously work off of battery. So if it doesn't have the battery, those do cost money and it can hurt the value of the item. Since this did have the batteries and was working and everything looked to be in good order when I tested it, I have it listed for $50 plus shipping. I have a sale going right now for 15% off. So it's about 4250 plus shipping. I'd say reasonably after fees, I'm probably gonna make somewhere in the $35 range. So that was of course the breadwinner of the day. You don't always find great stuff like this. Um, like I said, this little bit of money does add up over time. So we did again, take the stuff out for played against sports and we spent $22. We're only out $6. So the grand total comes out to $149 for everything. Obviously we take out $6. We spent out of pocket for everything. And we're looking at a potential profit of $143 on the day. Now I was only at the Goodwill bins for maybe like an hour or two at the most. If there's anything you guys saw in this potential profit here or in this list here that hasn't already sold that I already mentioned that you're interested in, feel free to follow the link to my eBay store below and make me an offer offer on this type of stuff. If you don't see it in my eBay store below, you can always hit me up on Instagram. It's at Flipping Epic. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description for that as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like down below. Also comment what you thought about um, how everything went with going through all the items and the pricing that I did. I'm not a huge fan of it because I can't really do as many like cutaways and stuff like that. I think when I'm just doing it and sitting here and explaining it, it's a little bit better and it's a little bit more consolidated and organized in my personal opinion. But if you guys do like this with the deep, deep breakdown, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you're not subscribed, you already made it through like 23 minutes of content. So might as well subscribe if you do enjoy this type of content. Other than that, you guys have an awesome rest of your day and happy hunting out there.